Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday before Thanksgiving. And I say it that way because I don't know exactly what the date is. I think it's the 21st? I'm not really sure. But I just got off work. Literally just walked in the door. A good friend of mine out here on YouTube <clears throat> has her own channel out here. And Spanish moss hanging from the tree. And I'm sorry, my neighbors are over here yelling and screaming. We got new neighbors, and they are just the fucking worst. The fucking worst. Fucking Section 8 welfare sucking pieces of shit. Probably vote Democratic too. Um, <clears throat> but hang on just a second here. I had to let the dog in. Because <clears throat> as I was saying, my dipshit fucking new neighbors have this little, I don't know what they're called, but it's a little dog. It's about this fucking big. And I got two big dogs. I got a Rottweiler and I got a uh, an Akita Shepherd mix that would not play very well with a little dog, such as in grab, shake, kill, dead. And they let that thing run all over the goddamn backyard, all over no leash, and it's in my yard all the time. And I keep telling them, you know, if you do this, I'm not going to be held responsible for any vet bills if your dog gets chewed up and chomped by my dog because you're in my yard. And that's the way the law is going to see it. It's just going to cause problems. Just keep your fucking dog and your fucking property. Ugh. What's so hard as a dog owner to understand that? If you have a dog and you want to take the chances of letting a little fucker run around without a leash, then by God, take the chances of your dog could be killed. As simple as that. Something's behind me. <laughs> the Florida woods, they are scary. Okay, today's video, I want to address the immigrant caravan that is coming to the American border. Uh, via Mexico, I believe. Now, I used to think that there was really just, it was all just a bunch of media bullshit hype because every time they'd show this 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 horde of uh, so-called poor, poor, downtrodden immigrants trekking through these desert lands, trekking through miles and miles, carrying their small children, you never saw them carrying food. You never saw them carrying any kind of sleeping bed, bedding. You never see them carrying any water, no suitcases. <clears throat> so, my mind says, Democratic bullshit. But, I learned this morning that our illustrious president, my president, he might not be yours, but he's mine, Mr. Donald J. Trump, closed the border. <clears throat> from Mexico to the United States. Now, it was only closed for a short while, but the reason that they closed it is quite interesting. They closed it to reinforce more barbed wire and some other security enhancements on that area of the, the, the border crossing. So it's got you thinking, if our country, our president, Mr. Donald J. Trump, has the, the knowledge that something's coming up and he wants to put more people down there. He did put more people down there, by the way, too. More uh, army, more, you know, more military, which is fucking great. Kick their fucking ass when they come. Kick their fucking asses to the fucking curb when they come. First immigrant that tries to get across that fucking border, kick him right in the fucking balls. Get your fucking ass back where you're going. You want to come to America? You come here fucking legally. You don't just walk up and open the door and go, I'm here. Fuck you. We can't do that in any other country as Americans. Why do they have the right to do that here? Why? Why do we have so many bleeding heart fucking bullshit asshole fucking libtards out here in this world that think... We have to have every fucking idiot reject piece of shit from another country just come over here whenever the fuck they feel like it. Let's not do anything to them. Let's not vet them. Let's not do anything. Let them in. They're poor. They're getting away. Oh, my God. They're escaping the downtrodden lifestyle that they live. Really? What about people like my wife's grandparents? 
They came over here legally. <clears throat> they did it the right way. They had to fight. And I mean literally, they had to fight in wars to get here. My wife's grandfather, as much as he loved America, at one time, <clears throat> he was forced by the German army to actually shoot at American airplanes as he was on his trek over here. My wife's mother was born in Germany on, and then she, of course, or, or, was she born in Germany? I'm, I think she was born in Germany, I'm not sure, but she was born uh, on foreign ground, and she was part of their journey too to come over here. They did it the right way. Why do we have to just say, boom, hey, door's open, come on in. I'll tell you what, all you fucking retarded ass wipes out there who think that we should allow every fucking immigrant in this country. Here's, let's try a little experiment. <clears throat> I'll go to some ghetto-based city like Chicago or um, Detroit, and I'll, I'll pack me up about 15 fucking families that need to get into a better lifestyle, and we'll drop them off, one family for each family out here, or each liberal retard out here, we'll get one family. And you just open your door and you let them come into your house and you let them do whatever they want in their ho your house and, and, and you don't say nothing to them because you're helping them now. Do you, do you have an idea where this is going? Because in my opinion, I know where it's going. You know what you're going to get? <laughs> These same people who are crying, let them in, let them in, all of a sudden are going to be like, fuck no, you're not coming in my house. Get the fuck out. That's what you're going to get. That's exactly what you're going to get. It's just the same as these fucking crackpots who are against abortion. Now, I don't agree with abortion, but I, as an individual, do not have the ability to tell a woman what she can do with her body. I don't like the idea of... <clears throat> Uh, 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 late term abortions I don't like the idea of a doctor sticking forceps up, forceps up in a girl's crotch and hoochie and scrambling a fucking kid's brain with a with a, uh, some sort of a medical tool or forceps <clears throat> or chopping them apart I, that's gross I would never do that but I don't have that right just like I, I don't have the right to tell these immigrants that they can't come here but I have the right as a citizen to demand that they come here legally and that's what we should be doing as a collective as a whole society we should be demanding something be done about this no but what will happen is the libtards will come out in their usual bunches and scream <clears throat> whatever appropriate term works for them at whatever situation they might be in uh, seeing how this is immigrants at a border they're probably gonna start screaming racism or or um, Oh, what would be another good word that they would scream? What, n not my border? <laughs> the bottom line is, if you want to come to this country, come here fucking legally. Don't be a dick. And just think, because we're America, the greatest fucking country in the world. Just don't think. You can show up on our back door, knock three times a secret knock, and we open the fucking door. Bing, bing, come on in. No, it don't work that way. You gotta come here, you gotta do it the right way. There is no other way to do it. You do it the right way or you stay the fuck out of my country. It's as simple as that. Stay out of my country? Oh no, did he say that? Yeah, I said it and I fucking meant it. Now, <clears throat> some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I've moved to Florida and there is a lot of immigrants in Florida. Now there are some that are here legally, there are some here that are illegally here, there are some that are just here, there are some that have good places, there are some that live in cardboard boxes. You know, they're terrible. So are these fucking bugs down here. Even though it is almost Thanksgiving and I'm staying here, here in shorts, see? Shorts! <clears throat> it's still just ridiculous. The fact that we have to put up with them in our country. You know what, if you're here, if you want to come here, come here. Do it legally. Get your paperwork straightened out. Do everything you got to do. And then when somebody gives you shit about being a, 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 a leech in our society, at least you can say I'm doing it the right way. <clears throat> I like the ones, the, 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 was the Muslims up in Detroit. We ain't going to fucking work. 
fuck you. Give us a house. Okay, here you go. Fuck you, we want more. Okay, here you go. Fuck you, we want more. Okay, here you go. Oh, yeah, and by the way, we want the, the, the city, city of uh, Detroit to not sell pork products because it offends us. You... <clears throat> Detroit? To not sell pork products? Oh, my God. I mean, this is how silly this goddamn country is beginning because of libtard bullshit. Because of bleeding heart bullshit. I mean, these people who are, you know, these are the same people who are probably out there screaming at the Michael Jackson trials when he was up for, you know, allegedly molesting little boys. You have to be a fucking dumbass to think it's an alleged crime. It was a real crime. But they're probably the same ones that are sitting out there with little babies holding them up going, You can watch my kid, Michael. You can watch my baby, Michael. Yeah, translation. You can watch my kid, Michael. Translation. You can watch my kids so the next time you get busted, I can sue you also. Maybe you'll settle out of court for a couple hundred grand with me too, Michael. Hell, I would let him molest me if I could have got a couple hundred grand out of the guy. Who knows? <laughs> Ew, Michael Jackson? Yuck. Yeah, what the fuck are you thinking? You're weird. So, I'm going to conclude this video here with that. Uh, basically, the thought process is this. The caravan, I believe, might be coming. I still t tend to believe it's a little bit more political and libtard bullshit and democratic crap um, to scare regular people who have to work, like me. Um, also, I'd like to tell you all that if you're watching my channel and you like the style that my channel is, I need you to go check out another channel. <clears throat> out here. It's called Atomic News. Wonderful lady runs it. She's out of, uh, I believe, uh, northern Illinois. Uh, same place I used to work, or used to live, northern Illinois. Uh, Atomic News. Uh, it's a great channel. It's, it's filmed just like mine. Um, they're pretty much press record and say what's on your mind. And But apparently... Um, if you're a girl, you get more subscribers than if you are not. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Laura. Um, man, she's got almost 3,000 subscribers, and she's been at this half the time I have. And I'm up not even at 40. I can't figure it out. I'll tell you what. i got to get onto my self-promotion department and tell them they need to step their game up. Because they're not doing a very good job of promoting our channel here. Wait a minute. The, the self-promotion department? Who would that be? Who who would I talk to? Uh, that would be me, dumbass. You, you would need to speak with me. Well, you need to start doing your fucking job because you suck. You really do. I suck. Stupid, we're the same guy. Yeah, I know. But I gotta bitch at somebody. So if I can't bitch at myself, who else can I bitch at, right? I wish I was a twin for that so I could just grab my twin and start bitching at you. stupid motherfucker. What are you mad at me for? Ah, uh, because I'm an idiot. So you're my twin. You're an idiot too. Anyway, end of video it is now. We're going to do the same thing. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and it'll tell you the next time I put out one of my self-centered, completely senseless videos that only I put out for myself. And hopefully I'll, with this video, I will get over 40. <laughs> I'm hoping to hit 41 the subscribers at least. I, I, I can't believe it. I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. If you have any ideas how I can promote the hell out of this channel, let me know. Because, God damn it, I'm trying to get to 1,000. And it, it's like pulling hen's teeth. It's, it's, it's hard. It really is hard. I guess what I should do is hire two strippers to stand behind me in scantily clad clothing. So that way I can be known as Florida Jim and his bimbos. I don't know if the wife would like that, but nonetheless. <clears throat> well, wait a minute now. I'm on to an idea here. Hmm. I'll have to think about this and get back to you on that one and tell you about that idea. So, if you could please subscribe. I don't care if you'd ever watch another video. Just subscribe to me. That would be nice. Or like. Even a comment. I love comments. I love them. I love them. I love them. So, uh, once again, uh, our... Our illustrious president, Donald J. Trump, has closed the borders down in Mexico, heading to the states. 
just for a couple hours. They reinforced a little bit. <clears throat> we covered that. Uh, we covered the fact that you should be here legally, not illegally. We covered that. I covered the, the plight of my wife's grandparents. We covered that. I covered my shout out to Atomic News right here on YouTube. Please do go listen to her. Don't subscribe to her. She's got too many. Subscribe to me. I'm just kidding. Subscribe to whoever you want to. But uh, her channel is a very interesting channel. I think you'll like it. I think you will like it a lot. Um, it's uh, straightforward, just like this one is. So with that being said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and most importantly, hit that bell icon so you can tell when I have another video out. And I'm going to go back inside and take a shower because I've been up since 3.30 this fucking morning and I'm tired as fuck and I want to go to bed. <clears throat> and I only have a small window of time to go to bed before the wife comes home. And uh, then the nighttime starts and then I got to go to bed at 9 o'clock. So it sucks when you got to go to bed at fucking 9 o'clock. I feel like an 8-year-old. Okay, I got to go to bed now? Yes, you do. Damn it. Yeah, it's how it feels sometimes. But it's a temporary position until something better comes along. Just like where we're living here in Florida is a temporary house until we find something better. Right now we just had to get down here and we're, we're down here. Uh, we had to, we, we, uh, we uh, jettisoned a lot to come down here. And uh, it's hard to restart, folks. It really is. It's hard to restart. There's a lot of, there's a lot of doubt when you restart your life in another state. A lot of doubt and a lot of unsureties, but we're gonna do it because uh, I'm married to the most uh, stubborn woman in the world. She's also one of the nicest women I've ever been involved with. If you're watching Lisa, yes, I'm talking about you. And uh, she's like a pit bull of humans. She gets her mind wrapped around something, it happens. It happens. And, uh, by God, she got us down here. <laughs> I'm, I'm lucky. I have a, a, a brainiac for a wife, so. And, and she's good looking, too. And she's got really big hands. You should see her hands. They're really big for her size. Remember, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. Do whatever you want, but do something to let me know you watched. Some way, some form. I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, thank you for watching this edition of Florida Jim's Backyard Vlog. Should I do like Tim Tracker? Backyard Vlog! If you watch Tim Tracker, you understood that. If you don't, you have no idea why I just did that. But, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again later. Bye.